there's so many questions about uh, the arm movement and you can piece this together and it doesn't work. Um, I get a rash of the, from people who don't talk to me. Um, they don't reach out. The ones that have reached out understand it. Um, I'm going to show you the simple arm motion and what it's all about. And it's not as complicated as people make it. If you rotate your forearm up like this, your elbow wants to stay stable. And all it is is a motion where you punch out, you extend that elbow, you drive it like a piston, you drive it with your shoulder, and then it's a simple little movement of your wrist, this one. So your knuckles are coming at the camera and then they turn targetward. These knuckles right here. So it feels like your door knockers are going underneath the ball and then you just turn this way. So it's a motion like this. But your forearm, palm have to be up from here. Have to be. Everybody always grabs it wrong. They grab it this way. They want to grab it what's comfortable. They want to, you know, but you reach underneath and guess what? Close your fist and you're going to have that impact position automatically. So when you grab a club, grab it from underneath like this. And then, boom, here's the hammer. If I were to take that hammer, most people would reach back here and slam it this way. But your forearm would be up. It'd be up in the air. Your palm would be up. And you're going to do the same motion to strike the ball. You're going to go, boom. What we're doing is we have the elbow here. There's a flat spot underneath your elbow. It fits against your torso nicely, just like this. It rests just in front of the hip. And all you do is extend outward towards where the ball will be. And I can demonstrate that. I've got a ball here and a tee. And you can hit this a long way actually by doing that extension motion and that little move hammer move at the end so the ball can fly a long way and it's just so you go underneath it and away you go now I access the ball there on the equator just underneath the equator what Lee's saying is if you get the ball underneath, even with a flat surface like this, get it more underneath the ball. With a club, you would slide the sole underneath the ball, and it flies further. You get spin, and it flies further. This has no loft whatsoever, yet I can still make that motion, and I just hit that ball uh, 30 yards. So that's all we're saying, and take a hammer, do it yourself, but drive it this way. Your turn of your body makes it look like a swing. Okay, with a club, it simply looks like this. Grab underneath, forearm up, knuckles at target. It's the easiest way to do it. Drop it on your sagittal line, reach underneath. Now I can hit the ball anywhere I want by pointing the stick in front of the ball and making that little hammer motion. Neutral wrist, don't cock, the, don't cock it back. Never let the hand get behind this elbow. No, keep it in front and it's a punch and as Lee calls it, a slap. Knuckles this way and then this way. Neutral wrist, not cocked any which way, just neutral. And your turn makes it look different. I hope that helps. Be careful. If you tee up a hammer, if you do that motion, you'll see what I mean. You get it right with a little bit of pop at the end. It flies really straight and really far. Don't break a club in a ball. All you do is <clears throat> grab it from underneath. Yes. This way. 
Knuckles towards the target. Just this way. Grab it underneath. Underneath. Forearm. Up. Palm. Up. Knuckles towards target. It's a motion like this. It's not complex. Very simple. Just you grab like this. You reach down this way. We're underneath. Okay? And then all you do, drop it on your satchel. I'm not even near the ball. I'm quite far away from the ball. Inches. Doesn't matter. We drop it. Establish our right and left side. Turn our neck. Left of the ball. And we make that little piston with the little hammering motion on the end. That's what Lee calls the slap. And that ball just goes. Okay? Straight as an arrow. Um, probably 50 yards. So, it's easy. That's the motion. You'll be amazed how far it goes, how straight it goes. Because you're turning, it doesn't look like me just facing the camera and the piston. You got a little turn. So it looks like this. But that motion is this. Seen it? Lee do it a million times. He's shown you. It looks like this. This is from neutral to down. You're not cocking it way up. You don't have to. It's just this little tiny motion. Driving from your elbow and your shoulder. Just slap at it. But it's got to have the right grip. You just do. Once you learn how to do it, you can forget about the grip even. You can do it this way. As long as your forearm's up, put it in your webbing, and you'll see power. Same thing. Just a little hammering motion. Just do. That's it. That easy. Give it a try. Just chip so you get it. Get underneath the ball, down at the bottom of the ball. Get that sole underneath and watch the ball rock. It's straight as an arrow. Get spin on it and lift.